Which which way? That way? Park down there. Minna did, yes. around the desert for 
40 years because he didn't have a plan. And we do not want to wait 40 years. We want a plan and a suggested timetable so that we can get this uh, finished. We created the task force in 2010 with uh, Jessica Lavin, who was the predecessor uh, to Ms. Halos, and we began working on it. It goes from 60th to 125th Street, and portions were built in the 1930s, and they really desperately need repair. Uh, it wasn't until the 1990s that we had a continuous uh, walkway, but very, uh, a very one of the problems are that parts of it are now falling, literally falling into the river. Uh, and uh, Council Member uh, Kalos has come in after she, she retired from politics. He's been an incredible partner and a big uh, part of the success that we've been having. So today we are uh, issuing our report card on some of the successes and I would say notable failures.
So that's the good news, but there's a lot more that needs to be done. So we have given this area uh, a, a B plus. It's not up there, but they got a B plus. And in communications with the public, that, that we gave a C plus. Uh, we're grateful to the Parks Department uh, for working and, 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 and with us as a colleague of the task force attending our meetings. The, the meetings are supposed to take place quarterly, but they only give us two meetings a year. We think that we should have four meetings. And we've asked repeatedly for a report on the source of funding and the status of the projects. And we have not gotten the information, and when we do get it, it's usually months old. The Parks Department website does not have a clear description of what the Esplanade is. It is listed as having four different boundaries. We are calling upon them to have one boundary and a clear description of the project. And we need a statement of the improvements that are being made and how they're being made. Now, on signage, we, we gave them a C because they need to do a lot better. Even as we came into this 60th Street Park, there's no sign when you go up the, the ramp that there's even a, a park here. It says no cars, that's a good thing to say, but they don't have signage saying that we have a park here. And they have, Andrew Haskell Green uh, is such a beautiful park, we want more people to know about it. And so we are telling them, please, to work on the signage. That's an easy thing to do. We can give them a series of signs that we need, so we have given them a staggering C minus. Not a good grade, but that can be done very easily and very inexpensively. Now, the seawall also is probably the most fundamental part about the Esplanade, and we have given them a C minus. It is built on platforms. All of this is man-made and a landfill, and while we want to see the top side beautiful, it won't exist unless this fundamental structure is there. And the Parks Department tells us that this is their number one focus, and it should be. But too little is being done. They need to pick up the pace. We need to work harder on it to make it happen. The construction management, this was a hard one, but we decided they would, we couldn't give them anything better than a C minus. Uh, too often the projects are planned to be completed, and when they come more complicated than expected, they take longer, they cost more. Repairs to the Esplanade from 88th to 90th Street were expected to be finished in May of this year, but they will not be finished now according to plans until 2019. The Con Ed site was supposed to be finished years ago, but it is still a mess. So they need to work harder on this. And the 107th Street Pier received an allocation of over 100,000, but they're saying that's not enough, it has to be totally rebuilt. Now, the timely completion of the projects, they unfortunately did not deserve anything better than a D minus. So they have a lot of room to work to pick up their game. Planning for the park up are here at Casco Creek. This started over a decade ago. Phase one was completed in 2009. Six years uh, passed before phase two began. And the city has the funding for phase two, and they're going to decide the phase. No, no, absolutely no word about when it will be completed. We need to know what their plan is to complete it. And we've already mentioned the problems of 90th Street at the Con Ed site and at the pier. The city does need to do better and treat this project with more urgency. And we've already seen the problem of delay with the collapse of 90th Street. On the coordination of the, uh, of the plan, uh, Ben and I gave them a D minus. The most frustrating part of this project is the lack of coordination of the comprehensive plan to fix the Esplanade. And as we said when we started this,
give more attention and resources to what we are trying to do here on the east side. We have worked hard with Jennifer and her, her whole committee on the Esplanade. Ben has done an extraordinary job at uh, getting private matches. And I'm calling on him to talk about what we have achieved and what he's working on next for public-private partnerships. So Ben Kalos, our extraordinary We are so lucky to have our champion in Washington who is fighting for a Supreme Court with ethical people on it and was there at the hearing as part of one of Morrison's historic moments and continues to not only fight for us nationally for a Supreme Court that will be just, but she's also focused on making sure that every park in our neighborhood gets the attention it deserves. We've been working every day. First day I got elected, I sat down with a Congress member. Uh, she brought me in and she said, Ben, this esplanade is falling into the river. It's going to cost us hundreds of billions of dollars, and we need to get right to it. She invited me to share the task force with her.
And the person I credit with the completion of the Second Avenue subway is our Congress member, Carol Maloney, and I know she'll get this done too. So I'm glad to be here. Tonight. Environment Open Space and Parks Committee for Committee Board 11. And I 
cannot help but echo Jennifer's comments today. If you look at the Esplanade above 96th Street, it is in shambles. It's a disgrace. Uh, it's a disgrace to our city, to the environment as a whole, and to our children, who we continually say are our most important resource, but we're not giving and allocating the funding where it needs to be. Let's make this part what we know it can be. And there's no reason, based on community or neighborhoods, why funding should not be allocated to repair the Esplanade the same way we see here where we are today, above 96th Street, and that's my passion. I'm happy to answer any questions about the work letter uh, in the Esplanade above 96th Street, uh, should anyone ask after the conference. Thank you. Thank you so much.